Today we're gonna to talk about water filtration for your RV and this is a hugely important topic if you're gonna travel at all and you want safe drinking water. Now, there's lots of ways of doing it. You've probably seen guys with the Berkey water filtrator things that sit on your counter. I think they've gotten really popular somehow in the RV world. I don't know why, you've probably seen those little blue canisters that Camco sells that are dirt cheap and it seems every RVer has one. Once again, other than availability, I have no idea why, because they don't do anything. They're pointless. And uh, alternatively, you can get a water filter like this. And this guy is Epic Water, so these guys do excellent filters. So this is the type of level of filtration that you'd want for uh, water that maybe comes out of an unknown water source, possibly like a clean stream, something like that. That would take out everything that would possibly cause you harm for the most part. So, you know, getting a good water filter is really a key factor. Uh, that style filter, as well as the Berkey water filters, the biggest issue with them is that they're a really uh, good filter. So, which is great. However, if you don't pre-filter what goes into those filters, they'll end up clogging up really fast. So what you'll notice is that initially, they'll filter water at a fairly decent rate, and then over time, it will slow down until it's incredibly slow. Uh, I mean, it could take forever to get a cup of water out of one of those. So that's one of the problems with that style filter. Now, if you're just getting started, you know, get something like that, because it's a great, easy way that you can have filter water in your RV for pretty cheap. Now, if you wanna do a more advanced and a little nicer water filtration setup, check out the RV water filter store. I'll provide a link in the video below. Uh, we've used these filters uh, for years now, and in this camper, we decided to build in the water filters. So the idea here is to filter your water before it gets into your water tank. One of the problems if you just dump water into your tank is that you're gonna have all sorts of debris and contaminants that build up in your tank as well as all your plumbing. So what we did in this install was to permanently mount these filters. Previously, we had the filters just kind of uh, free, so we would basically uh, hook the hoses up to it on the outside of the camper, plug it in, you know, fill up the tank, and then you have to disassemble all of it and put it all away. Because our space is so small in this camper and because we're gonna run in some really cold weather, we don't wanna to have to deal with where to store these canisters of water um, and not have them freeze, we decided to build it into the cabinetry. So this is how we did it. And I drew this nice diagram so you guys can see the routing for this. And we'll take a look outside too to see how it actually looks. So what we did was we took the city water fill connection on the outside of the camper that you would typically hook up if you're in a campground, we decided to use that for our fill for the water filtration. So if you hook a hose to it, you then on the inside have a T, just a diverter valve. And if you turn it one direction, it will go up through the pump. So what that allows for us to do is to turn on the pump and suck water out of anything. It could be a jug or whatever. So we could collect water off of a water spigot and just carry it over to the camper or maybe a clean stream, something like that. And we could just suck it right out of the jug through the pump. It goes through a T fitting up here and then it goes into these two filters. So the reason there's two filters is because a good quality filter, once again, is going to get clogged really fast with the larger particulates that are in your water. So what you wanna do is have a, a sediment filter that basically picks up all the big stuff. This is a one micron filter. So it basically allows your higher quality filter not to get plugged so fast and to keep good water flow. The sediment filters are also dirt cheap, so you can replace them pretty often and it's, it's not expensive. You kinda of wanna keep your carbon filters running a little longer just cause they cost a lot more. So then the second filter is the carbon half micron filter, which filters out a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a huge list of the different things, anything from the different metals and tastes and chlorine and on it goes. So it basically allows for the water to come in and go to the tank 
with it not uh, putting a lot of crap in your tank. So we permanent mounted this, which is great. Now the other option we gave is if we turn the valve the other direction, it basically allows us to fill via water spigot. So what it does is the water comes in from the water spigot and it comes here, goes hits the T-valve and goes right through the filters. So basically we can fill from a water spigot or fill from a jug, which is really handy. This is the first time we've done anything like this and I think it's gonna make our life a lot more uh, flexible with how we use water. Now, that's not the only way we filter water. That's just getting it into the camper. The water coming out of our water tank, we want filtered as well. So what we have is the water tank here in our diagram and it comes up out of the tank, it hits a little screen filter. These are just the ones that are pre water pump that help pick up anything that's large that would possibly damage your water pump. And then it goes from the water pump into our WaterSafe Pro water filters. Now, WaterSafe Pro makes some awesome products if you are looking for really high level filtration, even emergency level filtration. These guys have the stuff that uh, will make that happen. Now what we have in ours is just a carbon half micron filter and then a UV light 12 volt uh, system. So what basically allows is it takes out anything that may have been left from the other filters getting into your tank or what may have accumulated or grown or whatever inside of your tank uh, while it was in there. And the my half micron carbon filter takes that stuff out. We also have a ceramic filter that we may put in place of this carbon filter that's even a little bit higher level filtration. The UV light, the big deal with the UV light is that it gets rid of anything that's living. So think viruses and bacteria, stuff like that. Really nasty stuff that you don't wanna be drinking. If it's coming out of a water source that's unknown at all, that's gonna be a really important tool in your water filtration. And even coming out of good water sources, it's just a great idea to have because your water's gonna be sitting in your, your tank and you know stuff grows in the thing. So be able to filter it and have clean water is a really good thing. So once it gets through these two filters, then it hits our faucet, all of our different um, you know, faucets and you know, drinking sources inside the camper. So this system basically is a two phase system. One is filtration before it gets into the tank and filtration before you drink it. So it's a great way to keep your water really safe. So let's go ahead and take a look at our camper, see how we installed this thing. Here is the city water connection on the outside of our RV. So this is where we would hook up a hose. It's just this typical hose fitting here. And this is what typically you would use to bypass your water pump and you just have city water you know, providing water to all your faucets and whatnot. Now we cut that out because we're never gonna hook up to city water. And if we did, we'd still want it to be filtered. So what we did is we bypassed that. We'll take a look on the inside on that plumbing. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Here are the two filters for the water coming into the water tank from the RV water filter store. The first one is the sediment filter and the, and the second one is the half micron carbon filter. And you can see from our diagram here, there in the back, I don't know if you can see that, there's a valve on the back wall there that diverts the water either to the pump, which you can see mounted there, or it goes and bypasses the pump and comes up directly into these filters. And then from the filters, it follows it down and it drops down, goes down into the tank. Now coming out of the tank, we have the uh, WaterSafe Pro filters and the first one is that half micron carbon filter and the second one is that UV light. So it comes out of the tank from down below with uh, that um, PEX tube right there. And then the uh, screen filter, you can see back there right before the pump and then the pump. And I put a piece of plywood on the back wall there to mount the the pump too and we had to relocate all the plumbing to kind of make this fit because it's a really tight space and then it goes from the pump into the water filter and then out of the water filter it just goes into the normal RV plumbing so we basically intercepted the uh, water as it came out of the tank 
and then ran it through these two filters. Now, a couple things to note with it is that uh, this is a 12 volt UV light, so you do have to wire it. We wired it to our water pump, so anytime the water pump is on, the light's on. And then as far as replacing that filter or the UV light, you actually have to unscrew this bracket and that's why we use these shark bite fittings on either side of the water filter so we can pop those out and uh, remove the whole canister setup and then swap out the filters now on this side i did a little bit different um, it is a um, a swivel style fitting on either side of the water filter which is really easy to pull off but i made it so that i can pull off these canisters without removing the whole assembly. What I did is I put a piece of uh, two by four on the base for the filters to sit on, and that's screwed into the floor with one screw. So I can take that out, and then these filters can be unscrewed individually and removed without replacing or uh, pulling the entire housing for it. So that's how we did it in a very, very, very tight space. I mean, you can see this is basically just the under cabinet area on this thing so more than likely you'll probably have more room to work with than we did it was exceedingly tight to try to do all these connections and, and uh, lines and try to organize them so they seem to work fairly efficiently um, this was all pex piping with the crimp style fittings um, so anyways hope that is helpful for you guys if you're looking for some ideas on how to design your water filtration. Thanks for watching the tour of our water filtration for our camper. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We will put links in the description below with all the water filters that we used for this install. We are not sponsored. These are the best filters that we could find on the market and I think they uh, work great. We've used them in our other RV as well. And Otherwise, if uh, you enjoyed any of this, hit the like button, subscribe. We'd love to keep you posted on our upcoming uh, adventures and projects we're working on. And we'll have another one coming at you next week. Thanks so much for watching. What are your thoughts on this water filtration? I think it's kind of awesome. One of my favorite things about it is this filter right here, the filter for the clean drinking water, it actually filters out any taste or smells to the water so that the water actually tastes really clean and really fresh and that's something i really enjoy and like peter was saying about being concerned with stuff growing in the tank you do have to clean your tank periodically even if you're full-timing it on the road because stuff can grow and we've had an experience with that happening and blocking up some filtration systems so this is a really awesome setup it's really nice that we don't have to attach this section to the hose every time we want to fill so I'm really excited and we've tested it out a little bit, but we'll definitely test it out more over the summer and get a better experience for it.